What's good guys, my name is Metal Games and welcome to my Scarlet Step-by-Step -step Combo Guide where I'll be breaking everything down by steps or by parts so I can make it super and simple for you guys to do. In today's video, we'll be learning how to do an easy yet very effective combo for Scarlet. This combo is meterless and it's a mid-screen combo. If you guys are new and looking for combos that are broken into steps for other characters, then don't worry because I have a series that you should check out in the description down below. This is the first of many episodes to come. If you guys are wanting a step-by-step -step combo for your character, let me know in the comments down below. But first, to be able to perform this combo, this is the variation you'll need. Anyways, with that being said, let us get started. Part 1. To start this combo, you want to do the end is nigh twice, which is 2 one 2 2 one 2 Part 2. Next you want to add coagulation, which is 4-4. Four, four. Part 3. Now you want to add is far blood tentacle, which is down back 4, forward. Round 2. Bonus Tips This part of the video, we're going to be talking a little bit about mistakes, other alternative combos, and strategies for using this combo. The hardest part of this combo is 2-1-2 into 4-4 and sell Siphon. It's a little difficult because you gotta time it correctly, you gotta get the rhythm down. So the best way to do this is by consistent practice. Make sure you press the buttons clearly and not perform it all in one go. Now another mistake I can see beginners making is relying on this combo for pressure and damage. Try not to make yourself predictable. As Scarlet, your game plan is to approach your opponent in many ways by zoning, setups, grabbing, and punishing your opponent when you can. That way it keeps your opponent on their toes. Scarlet does not have the best mix up potential, but she does have very good range attacks, projectiles, and resets to mix up her play. Alternative Combos Now changing your combo ender into back forward 4 is another great option to keep your opponent into a reset position, allowing you to mix up your opponent and add more damage. But the best reason to use this combo ender is amplifying the move will allow you not only deal damage but gain some health from your opponent. Combo Strategy The best strategy for using Far Blood Tentacle as a combo ender is that this allows you to carry your opponent into the corner. In the corner, Scarlet has some pretty good combo potential there. If you want a combo guide for the corner, let me know in the comments down below. Now, the best strategy for using Cell Siphon as a combo ender is that this allows you to restand your opponent for a potential mix up and continue to do more damage. But you must cut out the second 2 1 2 in order to guarantee that Cell Siphon will get your opponent very close to you. However, you do have a couple options to deal more damage by A. Grabbing your opponent if you know he's going to end up blocking, B. Using a low attack like Bleeding into Cell Siphon, which is forward 4 3 into back forward 4. Or if you want to use any low attacks that works too like back 3 4. Congratulations guys, you're now able to perform Scarlet combos as well as learn some nice strategies. Now I want to thank you guys for taking the time to learn a combo with me. If you guys enjoyed this video and would like to see more, be sure to pause for a moment and just like learning any new fighting game, I want you to butt mash that like button. If you guys have any friends that need help starting off playing this amazing game, be sure to share this video. Help me help newcomers join in the community with ease. For more more Come 11 videos, subscribe now and hit the bell icon to know when my videos go live. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Games and I'll see you guys next time.